Round number one, underwear of the main event of the evening. Jack Hopkins in the black shorts and Lindsey Keen with the red shorts. Jack Hopkins, of course, trained by Don Samraz, but also training out of the box Thailand in Bangkok, Thailand. Lindsey Keen, right, just to avoid the power hand of Jack Hopkins. And Jack Nans, a nice big left hook upstairs. And both fighters told me that they want to knock their opponent out. Lindsay told me he likes Mike Tyson. Jack Hopkins likes Canelo. A nice left hook landed again by Jack Hopkins, but again, Lindsay just sticking that jab out, keeping that jab going. Both fighters now in the center of the ring. Both fighters look in incredible shape. And a beautiful right hand landed by Jack Hopkins, but Lindsay just shakes off the shot, which shows the conditioning of these fighters. And again. Lindsay just firing that jab. A nice jab, but he got a little bit lazy with it because Jack caught him. And Jack needs to be a little bit more ferocious when he starts setting up those counter punches. As soon as he gets underneath that jab of Lindsay, he needs to throw that big right hand. And there it is. He has found his target already in the first round. Should be a sprint. They should be trying to end it quite early. Four rounds is a very long time for your fitness. And a nice right hand landed by Jack Hopkins. Lindsay needs to get himself and just start throwing that jab out again. And Jack Hopkins just throwing some vicious left hooks, right hooks, almost going for that peekaboo style. But Jack said he's going to stalk his opponent. He wants to fight like Canelo. He wants to stalk him, trap his opponent, and then try and land that big knockout punch. 20 seconds to go of round number one. And Jack is still just walking forward. Lindsay doing a very good job to try and keep his opponent away with a jab, but it's been a very nice round for both fighters, especially for a boxing debut. 10 seconds ago. And again, a nice left hand stumbles his opponent. And that is the end of round number one. What a fantastic round we have just seen for two fighters on their professional boxing debut. Both fighters have only been fighting for less than a year. What a fantastic performance by both of these fighters, proving to any, everyone out there that anything is possible if you just put the training in. We're gonna get some action replays right now. And there was that nice one-two that Lindsay tried to land, but instead, Jack Hopkins came upstairs and landed that nice right hook. And here we are, we're seeing that time when Jack just got his opponent against the ropes. And again, landing those big, looping right hands. Jack almost going for a peekaboo style, where he makes his body smaller and then rips up with a nice explosive hook and it landed beautifully. A very good round. And thank you to everyone watching around the world. We have got the box promotions and Highland Boxing promotions putting on this main event. Jack Hopkins taking on Lindsay Keane. UK against Australia. And Jack Hopkins starts off very fast already for round number one. Sorry, round number two. Behind the jab, try and set up some counter punches. Try and see what you're doing as well. Don't smother yourself with your hands, which is very common in the first few fights that you have, is you get too excited. Look for your hand placement. Stay very calm. Jack is a very big, powerful looking man. He just, just keep the distance, keep throwing that jab and not getting close to Jack Hopkins because if you're in close against Jack, Jack's gonna punish you with some big, powerful shots. Lindsay just needs to stick and move, stick and move. Sting like a bee, flirt like a butterfly. Just keep dancing around his opponent. Do not get in close. Jack doing a good job, showing some nice head movement as well. Jack needs to be a little bit busier as well, start feinting the jab, trying to get in close to his opponent, feinting a little bit more, keeping Lindsay guessing, get his opponent against the corner, and that was a stiff left hand landed. And we're seeing a very classic, powerful fighter against someone who is just using their reach very well. Both fighters doing a very good job at what they do. Lindsay doing a good job of just stick and moving. Jack doing a good job to stalk his opponent, land powerful shots. We're definitely seeing quality versus quality in the punch department. 
but Lindsay has just been a little bit more accurate, a little bit more busy, but Jack has landed the big, more powerful shot. So it depends what the judges are seeing right now. Are they seeing the powerful shots landed by Jack and the aggression, or are they seeing Lindsay's nice stick and move starway just flicking out that jab, flicking out that jab? Less than a minute to go of round number two. And a nice right hand landed by Jack Hopkins to the body of Lindsay, ripping it down. This is where Jack needs to come alive. He needs to push his opponent off and start digging down and make this a dogfight. And a nice body shot again landed. And Lindsay does a good job to push down on his opponent and then circle into the center of the ring. Jack. 20 seconds ago of round number two. And Lindsay needs to stay very careful with his chin because Jack is stalking his opponent like a hawk. And he is looking for any opening to throw that big haymaker that he likes to throw. Jack is bleeding at the nose, which is going to affect his breathing just a little bit. Round number two underway. What an exciting round for these fighters, for these two YouTubers who are really putting on a great display of boxing. And let's see some action replays. That was that big leaping left hook that Jack was trying to land, but as you saw, Lindsay read it pretty well. And there was that interesting backhand which isn't usually allowed in boxing, but I think it was so fast, the ref didn't see it. You cannot touch what the eyes cannot see. And Jack, just fumbling forward, trying to get some body punches in. A very nice round for both of these fighters. And again, it depends on what the judges are seeing. Are they seeing the aggression? The really pays off. You do not know what it's like to fight until you fight. 20 rounds of sparring is still not enough to know what it's like to have a four round fight. And both fighters starting off very strong already. Jack Hopkins in the black shorts, taking on Lindsey Keane in the red shorts. And Lindsey Keane now getting behind that jab again. Both fighters are bleeding at the nurse. This is already a blood battle. And Lindsey Keane now putting the pressure on. It seems like he has smelt something in the water and he's now putting the pressure on, trying to finish this fight. And Jack Hopkins comes up with a big left hand that stumbles Lindsay and knocks him back. He is now back and forth. It's like an aggressive ping pong match. You have some, they have some. Both fighters are clearly trying to end this fight. Both of these fighters in the dressing room told me that they want to knock their opponent out. They both favor people like Mike Tyson and Canelo Alvarez. Both of them are knockout artists. But now we're in deep waters. Who wants it more? Who wants to bite down on the gum shield and push forward and go for that knockout? Both fighters bleeding at the nose. It's going to make it very hard. And a nice right hand landed by Lindsey Keane and sends his opponent to the canvas. Jack Hopkins gets up, showing the heart of a warrior. What a fantastic shot landed by Lindsey. Jack doing a very good job to get an extra breather there. Both fighters are bleeding. And let's see what Lindsay does. Is he going to try and finish this fight early? And Lindsay just needs to stick behind the jab now. He doesn't need to get caught into a war. He could just run away with a jab and see this round out. But it looks like Lindsay was trying to finish this fight. But Jack is not giving up. Jack is still in this fight, loading up with that big right hand that just misses. But it looks like Lindsay is firing and the ref is coming in and he has seen enough. A very interesting stoppage, but it was a good, good fight for both of these fighters. What a fantastic fight. We saw a very good lengthy fight. Three rounds of action. A lot of credit to Lindsey Keane for his boxing debut. What a fantastic performance representing Bali MMA. We're going to go to some action replays very, very soon. And here you saw Lindsey Keane took a big shot, but then just saw that right hand early on and then just threw it. And it hit the temple of Jack, stumbling him a little bit. But one thing was clear. Neither of these fighters gave up in that entire fight. And there was that right hand that sends Jack to the canvas. But Jack still got up.
still carried on. Jack did not go down, he did not quit. The ref stepped in and stopped the fight. But both fighters okay, look happy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, give these two a round of applause. What a fight! Which is 57 seconds to go in round number three. Your winner by TKO in the blue corner. Give it up for Lindsay. fantastic fight a great performance by both of these warriors the box promotions and highland boxing promotions for putting on this main event here at world siam stadium both of these fighters are Just a athletes. These two warriors. so over to you first Lindsay. congratulations what's the reason for taking this fight Jack, you also put in a sterling performance. You haven't heard in rounds one and round two. It just let it all go in round three, unfortunately. How did the training go for this fight? We went very well. We were ready to come out and win, but Lindsay was there as well. Did very, very well. So nothing I can say. Just thank you for coming to watch, and thank you to everyone who's been on the journey. Don't worry about me. I'll be back. This is what we do. Well, guys, you definitely put on a sterling effort. So, big round of applause to these two others. Absolutely awesome. Hopefully, we can do it again. Maybe in Bali. Yeah. Rematch in Bali. Let's go. We'll take a hold of the bank up there. Okay, guys, give these two a quick round of applause. Another big thank you to the Box Thailand Promotions, Thailand Boxing Promotions, and our official sponsor.